Welcome back to Joe Stone Unboxing. Sometimes fights that you expect to be entertaining are just absolute duds. And Shakur Stevenson and Edwin De Los Santos was one of those fights. Unbelievably boring. Unbelievably boring. Shakur won it. Unanimous decision. I think it was a 115, 112, a couple of 116. No, 115, 113, 2, 112. 116, 112. I had it 117, 111. But long before the fight finished, I'd given up caring, to be honest. Um, look. Afterwards, Stevenson said this was a really bad performance, which it was. Um, but there is some, well, quite a lot of talk about him coming into the fight with an injury. Now that would, if that's the case, then okay, we'll forget about this one, provided you provide some excitement and some real... Uh, some real quality stuff for your subsequent fights because if we start getting a repetition of this completely safety first one punch at a time uh, fight we, all the talent in the world isn't going to win you fans and in fact you're going to underachieve even though you've got three belts at three weights now because Stevenson did pick up the, the WBC vacant lightweight belt look at times, I thought Stevenson was trying to win rounds through feints. Um, he was he's so talented, and yet, you know, the fight started. Immediately, he knew that De Los Santos was fighting wrong, fighting the wrong tactics, because he, he just wasn't putting enough pressure on Stevenson. He wasn't making him fight at a pace he wasn't comfortable with. Stevenson was able to just stand off, feint, um, pop De Los Santos. I mean, I gave De Los Santos a couple of the early rounds, and then one later on, but... Yeah, nine three. I had it, but you know Stevenson. When even when De Los Santos and it's very he 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 isn't um, free of any blame either. De Los Santos landed a total of forty punches in the whole the whole twelve rounds. Forty punches. This is a, this guy's a power puncher, and I understand why Stevenson was a little bit reticent to start with. But after two or three rounds, you gotta go to work. And you've got to draw the guy's sting and counter him. And I don't think... I'm struggling to think of, of an occasion where one fighter landed a 1-2. They might have thrown a few 2s and 3s, but not all the punches were landing. I mean, Stevenson was... At times, he hardly threw anything himself. It was so unbelievably boring. Um, and Stevenson almost... They're both southpaw. Stevenson very rarely used the backhand. And a lot of people, a lot of the other commentators were talking about him having a damaged left hand that may be the case I don't know something something didn't look right with him but De La Santos this is his chance and you he should be tearing after Stevenson if you get knocked out you get knocked out but what you don't do is get to rounds six seven eight know damn well that you're a, a country mile behind and then just sort of walk after him and to try and out you know fire the odd jab to the body and uh you know you've got to tear after the guy and, you know, throw caution to the wind and, you know, make him work. If he was injured, would he would he have been able to, you know, from, from say, the middle rounds, would he have been able to finish strong? Would, would you have put him in a position where he felt uncomfortable? Would you have asked questions of him, tested him? Yeah, with someone like Stevenson, you're going to leave yourself open if you steam in and he's going to counter you. But he, on the rare occasions when De La Santos um, did that, you know, actually tried to put it on him. Yeah, I think in the seventh round, actually, Stevenson did start to get a little bit aggressive. And then maybe in the ninth, there was a little bit of aggression. But most of the time, he's just standing off and waiting. And it was really noticeable that the cameras followed Stevenson back to his dressing room um, with the belt. And he sat down, he had the belt around, and he just crossed his arms and, you know, his body language and his facial expression was like, I just don't want to be here. Well, I'll tell you what, it, that was the impression I got watching him in the ring. Um, and to be honest, I didn't want to be there watching it because it was rubbish. As for De La Santos, he talked afterwards. He was saying, oh, he came for a track meet, Stevenson did, and I was the one, you know, forcing the fight, and I won the fight, and um, I'm the people's champion. No, mate, you're not. Not when you just throw 40 punches or you land... Yes, it, we're not talking power punches. We're talking 40 punches in 36 minutes of fighting. Terrible, terrible fight. Lousy performance by a very talented performer in Stevenson. If this is an aberration and he, you know, really shows us something in subsequent fights, we'll forget about this one. But he's got to, he's got to show us more than this. 
I mean, the kid said, uh, you know, well, I got, I want to have a break. I'm sick of being in the gym. That's how injuries are picked up. So perhaps he was alluding to an injury. Um, and De Los Santos, you had your chance, mate. You're the power puncher. You know, OK, at the start, you're a bit reticent. I, I do think he started way too slowly. But by the middle rounds, when you know you're behind, you've got to steam after the guy. You've got to put it on him. You've got to make him work. You've got to force the pace. Should have forced the pace early on. But De Los Santos is, you know, he's never been anywhere close to 12 rounds, especially with someone of the calibre of Stevenson. And it, it, it looked, it showed in his attitude, in the way, the things he didn't do. It's very, very disappointing fight. Stevenson was awful. De Los Santos was terrible. Um, did the right man win? Yeah, if you can call it winning. But I just didn't care, you know, if it was a draw, if, if they'd given it to De Los Santos, I wouldn't care. I'd have said, well, it serves Stevenson right. But don't get me wrong, De Los Santos didn't deserve to win anything. And neither of them did, really. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame, but uh, anyway, we'll put that one behind us. Let me know what you think of the fight if you saw it. Uh, comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the like button. Spread the word about Joe Stunner boxing. What do you think of this fight? Actually, if you haven't seen it, don't watch it because it's bloody awful. But if you did watch it, what do you think? Tell me. I'm looking forward to reading your comments as always. I'll catch you later and bye for now.